This is an eerie experience I had when I was in my early 20s, about 10 years ago. At that time, I was looking for a place to live independently, and I found a very cheap place and signed the contract right away. However, on the first day I entered the house, I saw a note on the front door that said, No one has stayed in this house for more than a month. Good luck. I thought it was just a funny prank by someone, so I started living in the house, and a few days later, I saw something through my bedroom window to the neighboring house's window. It was the silhouette of a person shaking back and forth. When I looked closer, a woman was hanging from several ropes attached to the ceiling, suspended in the air, staring at me in a relaxed posture. Although I felt a bit eerie, I just thought, there's a strange person living next door. I looked away and didn't pay much attention. However, after a while, I looked at the window again out of curiosity and she was still there, smiling slightly and staring at me intently. I closed the curtains and felt strange afterwards. From then on, I didn't open the curtains for a few days because I felt like she would still be there, suspended in the air and staring at me. One day, I heard a knock on the front door. I opened it without much thought and she was standing there. I was surprised and she asked me, why don't you open the curtains? I was taken back, but pretended to be nonchalant and replied, I just don't usually look outside my window. Then she started singing, You have to open the curtains so you can see me. Open the curtains. I felt chills down my spine and quickly closed the door. I hesitated. Should I call the police? But I didn't want to complicate things. I just left the curtains open because I feared that she would return to my house. Then she appeared again, hanging on the ropes with a pleased expression. She swayed back and forth while staring at me intensely. I stared at her for a while, feeling dazed, and then I quickly closed the curtains and drank some cold water. Somehow, I started to feel strange then. She was definitely an odd person, but I felt a strange attraction towards her although I didn't know why. The next day, I opened the curtains again, but she was no longer there. Only the ropes were hanging there. I waited for her all day, but she didn't appear, and she didn't show up for a few days. I eventually went to her house and knocked on her door. She opened the door and invited me in. Her house was filled with countless ropes hanging from the ceiling, which was a bit eerie but I didn't think much of it. She was very skilled at maneuvering the ropes, gliding around the house like she was flying. Then she said to me, You should try it too, it's really fun. The ropes were hanging very high, which made me a bit scared, but I decided to follow her and climbed onto the ropes. But at that moment, I lost my balance and fell backwards, screaming in pain as I hit the ground. Something was off though. She just looked down at me with a cheerful expression, not helping me or showing any concern. It was as if she was simply watching me. It sent shivers down my spine and I quickly left her house, returning home. I closed the curtains and never opened them again. A few days later, she came to my house and knocked on the door. I didn't open it, but she continued to sing outside endlessly. I thought she was a psychopath and decided to move. After some time, I moved out and had normal days afterward. However, I heard on the news about a man who moved into that house. Shortly after he moved in, he fell from a rope at the house of the woman next door and died of a concussion. The police ruled it as an accidental death and the woman was cleared of all charges, but I couldn't help but wonder if he fell on his own, or was it something that she had planned? Only she knows the truth. After that day, I never heard any news about that house or the woman again. Time has passed, but I still wonder, is she still riding ropes there, and is someone still hanging on the ropes she made?